Hello, Candace. Hi, Tracy. How are you? Excellent. Yourself? Doing well, thanks. Thank you so much for joining me. Appreciate it. Thanks for having. Of course. Are there any new products that help take the stress out of spring cleaning? Well, are there ever? I actually have four <laughs> great tips, and I've partnered with some companies to share those tips with you. And my first tip, Candace, is all about easy access. I think if you have your cleaning supplies handy, you'll actually clean. If you have to root around and look for them, you're probably less likely to. So Windex has their new product called the Touch Up Cleaner. You just dab it, clean it, and you're done. And it's cute enough to sit out on the counter. There's one for the kitchen and one for the bathroom. And it's antibacterial. It kills 99% of uh, uh, bacteria. And what are some typical spring cleaning challenges and how do we conquer them? A typical one is clutter. And most people do declutter for spring, which is great. The laundry room is a great place to do that. I just did mine about a month ago and found that I had so many uh, bottles of laundry detergent that, you know, they were all in varying stages of being full. And there's a washing machine. In fact, it's this washing machine. It's GE's high efficiency top load washer with smart dispense. It has the ability to allow you to declutter. How and why? Well, the second you get home from the store with your 150 ounces, which is a gallon plus of laundry detergent, you actually pour it into the machine. Candace, it knows the exact amount of detergent to dispense based on the load that you have in there. Isn't that amazing? That is so amazing. And it has the largest capacity in the industry, which means you can put more stuff in there, which means ultimately you're doing fewer loads. So saving and time. And what do they do to get more? Oh, go ahead. So I'm just saying saving time and spending life doing life, not life doing laundry. Absolutely. And what should we do to get more organized? Well, you know, before organizing, I think about having a maintenance-free life, if that's possible. Invest in items and products around your house that you don't need to tend to all the time. And the bathroom is a great place. Most of us have bathrooms and bathroom faucets that have water spots and fingerprints on them. Do you, Candace? I do. So do I. But... Moen has a new faucet. It's their Asheville faucet and has a spot resist finish, which means it doesn't show any water spots. It doesn't show any of the marks. And it also has microban antimicrobial technology, which resists stain causing bacteria. You can pick this up at the Home Depot. And we were talking about, you asked about organizing. I'm about organizing and I'm about protecting. And I think so much about spring is getting rid of, but you want to get rid of things you don't want, like the, like the laundry detergent bottles. But you want to keep our, your digital life and all of our lives from work to home to photos to music are all on our computers. But the problem is what happens if your computer crashes or what happens if you break it? So for years, I've been backing up my digital life to Carbonite's cloud and I have access to it whenever something happens to my computer or when I travel. I just go up to Carbonite's cloud, like I actually have my iPad with me, go up to the cloud from my iPad, gather the info that I need that's on Carbonite's cloud, and then just use it right there for my iPad. That's perfect because I've had hard drive issues in the past and lost important photos. So, yeah, that is very important to have. Backup off-site, so important. Nobody wants to have, because let's say your house catches on fire. If you have a hard drive at home and there's yeah. a fire, it's gone. Absolutely. That totally makes sense. Yeah. Do you have any additional tips or information you'd like to share with us? Sure. Well, for tons of tips, you can go to my blog, which is tracymetro.com. Excuse me, that's my website, tracymetro.com, but my blog is domesticcircus.com. But, you know, I think one of the most important things people tend to get overwhelmed by cleaning is to set a timer. Give yourself 15 minutes, egg time it, and then when it buzzes, you're done. You don't have to make all day of it. Hey, I'm just going to clean, you know, the kid's room for 15 minutes and then done. You just, and do it really fast. And then it's not a whole day project. Well, thank you so much, Tracy, for the wonderful tips. We truly appreciate it. Have a My great pleasure. afternoon. You too.